Welcome back everyone. I'm Monica Baysmore and this is the finale of the bedroom makeover. If you're into decorating, you know you're never really done, but I'm done with the bedroom now. So we're gonna get into the styling aspect of the room today since all of the other major changes are complete. So stay tuned and let's decorate this room together. And also I wanna share with you guys some budget-friendly tips along the way. All right, let's get started. All right, so one of our budget-friendly tips is to shop your home. Find things that you love and want to display in your bedroom. And sorry for the lighting, there's a little bit of a shadow in here right now, but so these are some things that I know I want to be using in the room, as well as this laundry basket. And then we have a lovely assortment of goodies right here. So all of these are pieces that were either in the room already um, or I've gathered from other areas in the house and I would like to use in the room somehow or I just wanted to have a nice look at everything and see what I want to use in the room. So we're gonna start going through here and see what works in the room and what doesn't. But we've got some pictures, we've got things to put jewelry in, um, and just some other decorative items that I've either thrifted or just collected along my husband and I's like travels together and just things that are important and fun to us. Next tip, reimagine. So this does sort of tie in with shopping your own home. Um, however, if you have some things that maybe you can reimagine a different color, that's exactly what we did with the curtain rods as well as the two nightstands. Next budget friendly tip, do it yourself. And this console table to make costs less than $70 and check out this world market table, 350. Starting with the record player here, now this is going to need to be right here. So look at the beautiful thrifted dresser. I just love the way this pops against the color of the wall. And then it has these cool birds. I believe those are herons or some type of crane. And I just really loved that aspect because as you can hear, I have a bird. He is just so wanting to be in this video. <laughs> All right, but back to what I was saying. This is an old home and they're only, they're very limited outlets. So there's an outlet along this wall and then there's an outlet along, here's my crawling baby, this wall too. So um, the record player just really doesn't fit on this new console table that we've built. And plus I have some other things in mind for that anyway. So it's gonna go on top of this dresser and I think it will fit really nicely. So let's try it out and see what we think. And lastly, look for treasure. Be sure to check out some local antique malls or thrift stores and you can find some really cool pieces. For example, the dresser. And throughout the room, you're going to see many pieces that I and my husband have found going through and browsing through the treasures or goodies that we find at the local thrift stores and antique malls. I hope you guys enjoyed that little piece of me in the decorating process. I had every intention of showing you all of the decorating. However, that just was not able to happen this week. But here is a nice look at the before of the room. So this is before everything was changed. Dresser, the two nightstands, bedding, curtains. And then also something I want you to notice is the clutter. And Although it may not look like much in the video, I mean, to me, it definitely does. It felt like so much. So be sure to take a look at that in your own rooms. Your bedroom is your solace. It's the best place for you to just, I don't know. Personally, I feel like it should be your favorite room in your house. So let's get ready for the after.
here we have the inspiration for the entire room which is our favorite place the beach and that's actually a picture i took at our favorite snorkel spot in destin florida so a lot of these colors that are in the room are just very reminiscent of the beach or very calming so you're going to see a lot of the blues, greens, aqua, um, darker blue, and then just I really wanted to bring in more of that warmth as well. The room before felt cold to me and it was comfortable, but it just never felt warm and inviting and the really cozy vibes that I wanted for our bedroom. Here is the frame that I forgot to show in the last video. And really all we did was end up using the brad nailer to just attach the frame back together. It was kind of coming apart in the back a little bit, but I love it. I feel like it just really complements the gorgeous painting that my mother-in-law did for us a few years ago. And I'm just really, really happy with that part of the room. Okay, I have a fun game. Comment down below what song do you think was playing? All right, and it was Frank Sinatra. So what Frank Sinatra song are you guessing that was playing while I was recording this video? Okay, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're into budget-friendly tips, decorating tips, thrifting and crafting. And I really hope this video just inspires you and shows you that you can redecorate a room on a budget and just be really happy with your space. Again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.